Butterflies are a natural ornament you may want to adorn your garden with, or maybe you only want to enjoy watching these delicate and beautiful of creatures while working around your yard. In either case, attracting these pollinating pixies can be done through a knowledge of butterfly tastes and optimal garden planning. 1. Discover local butterflies. Though you might imagine that one butterfly is like the rest in all but color, species of butterfly differ drastically in terms of size, migration, and diet. Learn the native species of butterfly in your area and coordinate your efforts at attracting these. The species of butterfly in your area will be specific to your state, region, but among these species you might find the following, Tawny Emperor, Asterocampa Clyton, Monarch, Danaeus Plexippus, California Sister, Adelpha Bredewi, Common Buckeye, Junonia Conia, Viceroy, Limnitis Archippus, Baltimore, Euphodrius Phaeton, Common Mestra, Mestra Amamone, Isabella's Heliconian, Euodes Isabella, Astyanax, Red Spotted Purple, Limnitis Arthemus Astyanax, American Snout, Libby the Carinenta, Northwestern Fritillary, Spearia Hesperus, Morning Cloak, Nymphalis Antiopa. 2. Coordinate your colors. Adult butterflies have a palette for specific pigments. These winged wonders appreciate reds, yellows, oranges, pinks, and purples. Blossoms these colors, especially those with flat tops or short flower tubes, are among the butterfly's favorites. Some examples include Stachytarfeta gemisensis, blue porterweed, Budlia davidi, Miss Molly. Cosmos sulfurious, orange cosmic cosmos. 3. Plant your flowers strategically. Butterflies are most likely to frequent nectar sources that receive plenty of sunlight from mid-morning to mid-afternoon. Fully matured butterflies tend to avoid feeding in the shade. Choose flowers that enjoy lots of sunshine and plant these where the best light can be received. 4. Construct a landing strip for a butterfly lounge. You may have seen butterflies in nature resting on branches and twigs, basking in the sunlight. This is because the sun provides orientation and warmth to the wings, helping these colorful friends fly. Flat stones spread throughout your garden in areas that receive good sunlight are excellent places for butterflies to land and rest. 5. Provide ample places for puddling. Mud and wet sand are optimal places for butterflies to suck up water without the danger that accompanies a large body of water, like a stream, fountain, or water feature. Coarse sand in a pan kept moist can provide your colorful little friends a convenient watering hole. Take notice of butterflies in other people's yards. There are many local factors that might be influencing butterfly populations in your areas, so if you see that a neighbor has a larger than average butterfly population in her garden, you may want to inquire what she has planted or how she has her garden set up. Isolate your butterfly's favorite features. There are certain plants that each species of butterfly prefer, and planting several that your butterfly of choice appreciates will be an open invitation to come visit your garden. If you want to catch butterflies so you can study them, you have a few options open to you. They are too short and can hurt the butterfly. However, keep in mind, in some areas, you will need a permit to carry a butterfly net. 2. Find a good place to look for butterflies. Woods are often good places to find butterflies, but your backyard can be just as good. If you plan to catch butterflies, you might consider planting flowers that local butterflies are attracted to and heliotrope are flowers that many butterflies are attracted to. 3. Look for butterflies that aren't in motion. You may have a vision of swooping your net through the air to catch a butterfly in flight. Look for butterflies sitting on flowers, drinking nectar, or roosting. In tropical climates, you'll usually find butterflies roosting underneath leaves or branches, and you'll find them there in temperate climates, too, when it's raining or cloudy. If you want to catch butterflies so you can study them, you have a few options open to you. Of course, you can try a butterfly net, though you may need a special permit to use it. They are too short and can hurt the butterfly. 2. Find a good place to look for butterflies. Woods are often good places to find butterflies, but your backyard can be just as good. If you plan to catch butterflies, you might consider planting flowers that local butterflies are attracted to. 3. Look for butterflies that aren't in motion. You may have a vision of swooping your net through the air to catch a butterfly in flight. Look for butterflies sitting on flowers, drinking nectar, or roosting. 
In tropical climates, you'll usually find butterflies roosting underneath leaves or branches, and you'll find them there in temperate climates, too, when it's raining or cloudy.